guys if you're new here which there are so many new people I am so blessed to have you all here which I just can say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I love that you're here and thank you and welcome so today we did a keto friendly lasagna with a the hearty harvest noodles I think that's the, what they're called healthy heart no healthy harvest noodles and we made a lasagna oh my gosh guys oh my gosh it was fabulous so my two-year-old granddaughter was here and she helped me make my video so have some patience she's two well almost three in December oh, she's growing up so fast it's terrible okay so here we go so we're gonna do a keto friendly lasagna with the heart healthy noodles and a two-year-old helper and welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you for coming back if you've been here for a while and we're gonna do all the things so I'll see you at the end of the video because it was super noisy in my kitchen I have an open concept home so we're in our private formal dining room right now because if we were in there it'd be extra noisy and we're not trying to have so much background like noise <laughs> I want to say shows programs all the things but it was talking and it was TV and it was all the things okay so let's get into the video so you can learn how to make this oh my god delicious lasagna and I'll catch you at the end for an extra like an exit video or what do they call it for vloggust yeah I'm trying to say it right vloggust this is things I'll see you every day this month what yes we will and welcome to all my new subscribers again thank you thank you thank you people I am making a lasagna yes lasagna she's gonna make it I know, and you got this. Those are noodles. You noodles. Yes. The noodles Tell them. For lasagna, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them you're making lasagna? in a minute when we get this meat cooked she can't go by the stove because it's too hot right we're gonna cook it yeah grammy's gonna cook it and then we'll be and we'll be right back so this is our pasta say this is our lasagna noodles don't poke them and we're letting them dry we've rinsed them off and we're using these and she said we're making lasagna we're gonna use this for our sauce i i uh fried up a pound of Ital a mild Italian sausage and I have the, all the teas. So we're doing some mozzarella. We're doing some ricotta and I got the organic and I realized when I looked at the regular one it had like five carbs per fourth cup and this one only has two and no sugars. So we're going with the organic because it was lower in carbs. 
And then we've got some shredded parmesan. And I know the thing, but we're trying to make it because we got company. And we're, we're trying to make it, we're trying to make some lasagna and we're not trying to take all night to do it, right? 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 You better be nice. Are you gonna talk nice to the people? Don't yell. Okay, well as you see my trusty assistant is a little temperamental, so we will be back when we're ready to assemble our lasagna. We're gonna get our oven heated to 375 and we're gonna let this cook for about 30 to 35 minutes, just really only melting the cheese because everyone else is cooked. So, onward and upward. I'm still debating on what size pan I should use. We're debating. Are we debating? I should debate She stands on this little ladder to be a helper for Grammy. You Grammy's helper? No, I need to see my ladder. Yeah, your ladder, they saw your ladder. See, look, we showed them. There's my ladder. I need to see my ladder. Leave it on. Okay guys, anyway, here's our pasta drying out. As you can see, it's not very big. So, I'm debating if it will, if we can, it'll be enough to fit in a larger pan. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna get our stuff together. Okay, let get our sauce in here. Have it, I'm gonna make it. Okay, so we got ourselves a little bit of the sauce. You ready? We're gonna put some of our sausage. Let's break this up a little bit. You know what we need to use? You know what I need to break our meat up with? Yeah. The spatulator. The spatulator. Say spatulator, spatulator. Keto ginger song. I need, I need okay. to help. I know you wanna help. You're a good help helper. I this huh? I wanna help. You wanna help with the spatulator? Okay, smush it. No, let me help. Let me help. Let me help. Okay, Grammy, Grammy needs to hurry because we don't want to make this video two hours long. Okay, let me see. Okay. Just break this up a little bit more. I'm going to break that a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, I'm it's okay. Bit it's okay. Bit yeah, you can break it up a bunch in a few minutes. Okay, yeah, we're going to put some on here. I'm going to put that on my me. Okay, you help me. What? Don't touch the pan. It's hot. See, so you hit like Grammy help do this part. Okay, let me help. Okay, you help. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> it's a process. <laughs> oh. Here, let Grammy do it. Because this pan is hot. It's going to burn you. You don't want to get a burn. No burns, okay? I'm help. I know you want to help, Mama. So hold on. You're going to help me with the cheese. You're going to help me with the cheese? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got some sausage in here, I, I and we're only gonna make a couple layers, so no, we want to be pretty generous with our sausage. Let me the loan. You're a feisty assistant. I need help. You're a feisty assistant. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this back over here because we have little ones here in the kitchen with us. So let's get going on our cheese. I need the onion. Oh, okay. You can put some cheese on there. Make sure you put it on there. Beep. Okay, guys. Patience. Okay. Let Grammy help you. Let me help you. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get a good handful. Okay, that's enough of this one. We gotta get. my hand I know. I told you. Don't touch it. Okay. I need help. We did wash our hands. So no worries. We're gonna get a handful of mozzarella. We're gonna get this around. Okay. Let it go all around. Okay, thank you. You want Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got our mozzarella. Come on, mommy. Okay. We're gonna get some of our ricotta cheese. I'm just gonna give this a little stir with the knife. Break it up just a little bit. We're just basically gonna put, put some little sections of this in. And sometimes I mix all the cheeses together and kind of make more of a spread. Like I say, we're trying to be as efficient with our time as possible here. Okay, 
so I just get some of that around into the lasagna. Just, it'll all melt down in there anyway. Okay, baby, not on this one. All right, so we're gonna do our second layer, exactly like this one, and we'll be back. Oh wow, we weren't recording. Okay, so we're on our top layer. We're gonna get our sausage in. In this size pan, it only made two layers. So, you might wanna use like a loaf pan. You could probably get three or, or deeper, a deeper lasagna with a, with a, um, you used a, a bread loaf pan instead of a square pan. This is an eight by eight. All right, so I'm just gonna get the sausage bread out with my trusty helper over here. Say hi. Hi. You say hi. Okay, so we're gonna get our, our mozzarella. I need to help. I know you need to help. Okay. Yeah. Put a handful. Oh, good job. Thank you. You're such a good helper. I know you need to help. Okay. Okay. So, I'll get some Parmesan on here. So, we're just going to spread this around. I'm going to spray some foil with some cooking spray. Hold on, Mama. Hold on. And put it on the top so it doesn't stick to the cheese. And then we're going to cover this and put it in the oven for the, about the first 20 minutes and then we'll uncover it for the last few. Okay, Mama. Okay, well, bless you cooking with a two-year-old every day because, you know, the struggle is real over here. Okay, all done. Look how beautiful that is. There's our lasagna. All right, guys, we're gonna get this in the oven and we'll see you back when it's done. Hey, guys. Okay, we have this out of the oven. We're gonna take the foil off. Again, I sprayed it with cooking spray so it didn't stick, so it doesn't stick to the cheese. And you can see the spools of that. And we're gonna cook it for 10 more minutes uncovered to let it brown up on the top. So, here we go, lasagna. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, okay. Yes, I have my hair straight today. It is work to do this, so appreciate it. Cause you're not gonna see it like this very often in this Texas humidity. Um, anyways, so the lasagna is done. Let's take a peek. OMG, look at that. It looks, and it smells fabulous. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna, you know, probably take some pics. Evelyn, you wanna come say hi to the people? Maybe she wants to say hi to people. Evelyn, you wanna come say hi? Oh, I just want to say hi, people. Oh, don't touch this, it's hot. The lasagna. <gasps> say hi to the people. Don't touch it. Okay, well, we have our tablet now. See, we are now amused with the tablet. So we're no longer inter interested in cooking with Granny. So, you know, that happens. Don't be mean. Anyways, so we're gonna get some lasagna cut, cut out of here. Hey, look at that. Keto lasagna in the house. I'm super excited. Let's talk about the nutrition facts for just a minute because I don't think we really talked about that. Total carbohydrates per serving, which is, there's only two and a half servings in this box. So there is at least six servings in this pan. So you're gonna have to like, we're not gonna do that math because you know, it's Saturday night and it's 10.30. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna say. Um, we have four grams of carbs for the entire box is 11 carbs, five fibers. So six net carbs for the entire box of pasta. Heart of palm, one ingredient, nothing else. It doesn't smell like those um, zero pastas and the like the rice noodle thing, the mushroom noodles. It doesn't smell like that at all. Um, in fact, it smells really good. Um, I did rinse them and let them dry on a paper towel for just a little while, which I think I showed you a little clip of that. And guys, I'll be back with some pictures of the plated portion of this lasagna and me and little Miss Prissy Pants right here. Lasagna! She's tired. It's like really late for her right now. And she has a tablet, so she's super happy. <laughs> and I'm happy when she's happy. So anyways, I'll be back in a minute to show you a portion of plate. And then I'm going to, I know I don't usually eat after six, 
but it has been a quite a long Saturday. I've only had one thing to eat today and it had carbs in it and it was the worst decision I ever made. My stomach is shook. I have not consciously eaten anything with carbs in it, uh, like with the exception of vegetables, since June 30th of 2018. Yeah, and it was, mm, yeah, it wasn't good. Anyways, I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, well, there is our lasagna, and it was fabulous. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Everybody loved it. Those noodles are fabulous. I don't care if they cost $8 a box. They cost $6 a box. I would pay $8. I would pay 10 I don't care. It is awesome. So, thank you for watching my video. If you could give me a big thumbs up and you can subscribe and hit the bell on all things YouTube and as I always say and always mean with all my heart thank you so much